The opening blast of a massive winter storm arrived early in Kentucky. The slippery conditions just a preview of what lies ahead this weekend. With forecasters calling for a major snowstorm, city officials along the East Coast warned residents to take shelter and stay off the roads. Washington is expected to be in the bullseye. It has uh, life and death implications and all the residents of the District of Columbia should uh, treat it that way. Uh, we need the city's full cooperation. The blizzard is expected to dump about two feet of snow with winds up to 50 miles per hour. The federal government closed early at noon as workers tried to get home ahead of the storm. Travelers also hope for the best, trying to catch the last flights out. My teenage son is on a flight that's supposed to leave in a few minutes. We had to move him from a, to an earlier flight today, so. In New York's Penn Station, commuters said they were ready. I have all my provisions ready. Um, yeah, just made sure that my house is stocked. We have all the toilet paper, milk, eggs, everything, so we're good to go. At Belmar Beach in New Jersey, the city made emergency dunes in preparation for possible storm surges. Pennsylvania transportation officials said they were ready, but said fatigue could be a factor. You know, you're stretching this thing into possibly Sunday. You're looking at, you know, 48 to possibly in excess of 48 hours of operation time. If all the predictions hold true, the storm is expected to be one of history's 10 worst winter storms to hit the East Coast. Robert Bumstead, Associated Press.